Hello. Oops. That's a little traffic noise around here. One moment, please. I'm sorry, guys. Give me just a moment. There is a lot of noise. <laughs> I think the neighbor is, um, you know, accelerating his car right now. So it's making a lot of noise. Can you hear me? Can you hear me well? Good evening, everyone. Can you hear me? Hello. Yes, teacher. Okay, great, 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 great. So, <laughs> welcome, welcome to the class tonight. Uh, it's very special. Uh, we're getting close to the ending of the module. So, you guys are definitely giving one more step ahead in your learning process. I'm very happy to be with you in the class tonight. How are you today, Alex? Very good day. Did you had a good day at work? Yes. I I work in the day. That's good. That's good, sir. That's good. So when is, oh, ups, 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 ups. Let me welcome also to your classmate, um, Monica Maricela. How are you, miss? How are you doing tonight? Are you ready? Are you ready to participate? Hmm? I'm testing your sound. I always like to test your sound to check if I can hear you well, if you can hear me well, yeah? So let me say welcome to Marilena Linares. Hello, Miss Marilena. How are you doing today? Hello, sir. I'm fine, and you? What's new? What's new, Marilena? Um, nothing. <laughs> nothing new? Um, Yes, I, I, I was it. I was eating a lot, tamalito de lot. Oh, really? It's new because it's in temporada, nada más. No hay como se dice. Season. Ah, season. It's the season for, for tamalitos de lot, huh? Yes. Nice, nice. I like, I like them fried, you know? fried I, I love them fried with a piece <laughs> of of cheese and of course cream and and a coffee good evening i'm on my way i'll be with you who said that who said that that was monica ah okay monica understood roger that very nice, very nice. Welcome to the class, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for your punctuality, for how serious you take this class. We're gonna play a dynamic, okay? We're gonna play a dynamic while other students join the class. All right, Alex, Maria, you ready? Um, the dynamic is about vocabulary. Okay, um, no problem, Miss Monica. 
Um, so the dynamic is about vocabulary, okay? So for example, the teacher will choose a letter from the alphabet, yes? I, I, I will select one letter of the alphabet. And the students will say examples using that letter. For example, if I say letter, if I say letter S, what can you say with, what kind of vocabulary can you say using the letter S as in Sam? Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay, thank you. What else? Mm -hmm. It can say any, uh, it can be any kind of vocabulary, guys. Bear Starting speak. with the letter S, no names, no names, no numbers, just vocabulary. Bear, bear C. I'm sorry? Verb C. Verb C? What do you mean? What's that? C, the verb. C. Oh, the verb C. Correct, the verb correct. C. You say C, for example, C, see you, see you later. Yes, the verb C. Okay. So letter S, with letter S. What example can you say, uh, Maria, Canon, Julio, Patricia? What example can you say with the letter S? She. Sick. She. She. Ouch. She. She. The ella. There's a lot of noise over there. Okay. She. No. We have a little bad connection. What did you say, Alex? Pronombre dijo que no, verdad? Sí, pronombre sí, nombres no. Por ejemplo, Samuel, ah, no, 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 no. Uh -huh, Sandra. So she is okay. She is okay. Okay, let's switch letter. Let's switch letter. Maybe the letter S. The sound is kind of tricky. Um, let me close this door. Let me close this door. I'm sorry. Give me one second. Let me close this door real quick because maybe this will help me to, to listen to you better, which is my objective. Okay, perfect. I think that's better. Okay, guys, thank you for your patience. Um, let's switch letters. What about letter B as in boy? Can you give examples with letter B? By. By, correct. Because. Because, okay. What else? Because he, no. Because he, <laughs> no, but B as in boy, B as in boy, B as in bravo. Best. Bad, okay. Can you can you chat it? Can you no? You, it's difficult to chat for you. Black, black, okay, black. Thank you. What else? Brown. Okay, brown. Okay. What else? With the with the B, with the B as in boy. Okay, time, 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 time. Let's go with W. W was in whiskey. What, where, why, who, um, what, when? Yes. Come on, guys, what else? With the W. White. White. Thank you, Monica. White, okay.
That's it? Way. Way, like, 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 W-A-Y? Yes, way. Okay, good. Okay. What else? What else? W. Work. Walk. Right. Walk. Right. Right. Excellent. Good pronunciation. Come on. Talk to me. Talk to right. me. Letter W. Water. Okay, good. Water. Okay. Wonderful. Right. An adjective. Thank you, Monica. Wonderful. Right. I'm sorry, Alex. Wash. Wash. Like wash. like you, like you washing your clothes? Wash. Washed. Wash. Y, y watch también dice Miss. Okay, that's correct. Watch. It's that wash and watch. Okay, good. Good. Good job. Good job. Excellent. 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 Good job, guys. Good job. Let me call attendance real quick so we can start our class. I can see more people connected now. So welcome everyone. Um, first of all, let me switch to Spanish a little bit. Porque les quiero mostrar. Um, ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Cómo van con sus tareas? A ver, ¿en qué semana estamos, ladies and gentlemen? Or. Ok, es correcto. Estamos pues prácticamente a las puertas de la última semana. Entonces tendríamos que tener... Um, por lo menos tres semanas completas, right? Las primeras tres semanas of activities. Quiero felicitar a los que, pues, muchos de ustedes ya avanzaron bastante. Eh, sin embargo, pues, eh, um, necesito que todos nos pongamos ahí. Up to date. A ver esa expresión, up to date. Up, up to date. To date. A ver todos, up, up. to date. Today. Necesito que se pongan. I need you to be up to date. I need you to be up to date. Up to date. Right? I need you to be up to date. Up to date is como al día, right? Al día. Pueden ir el día. You can be up to date or you can go ahead. But not behind. Behind is negative. Behind is negative. So los que me deben ahí de la última semana, you need to complete that. Please, 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 please. Para que, pues al final no nos, no se nos sature ahí, ¿verdad? Right? El trabajo. All right. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta ahí con la plataforma? Cool. <laughs> Entonces, so in that case, we're going to do a little review. Okay, we're going to do a little review uh, with our two topics. Yes, we're going to do a little review with our two topics, which is the simple present tense and the um, present continuous tense. Okay, so in order to do that, I'm going to share my screen with you. I hope you guys participate as much as you can. If you have any question, don't hesitate and ask the question. I'm here to help you guys. I'm here to help you, okay? Mm. There you go. This is the option I'm looking for. And can you see my screen now, guys? Can you see it, people? I can see, teacher. 
You can see it. Say, I can see it. I can see it. Yet. Okay, wonderful. I can see it. Okay. Cool. So here, let me see, what does Monica say? I think, okay, wonderful, Monica, I appreciate it. Thank you for being there. Thank you for being there. Okay. Anyways, um, present continuous. We're gonna, we're gonna use um, present simple and present continuous, okay? Present simple, what is the difference? Who knows the difference? Who knows the difference? Uh, the present continuous, uh, se le agrega ing. Aha. In, in the simple present, no. Okay, okay, excelente, excelente, Miss. Muy bien, gracias. Um, el present continuous dice, eh, le ponemos ing al, al verbo. Ok, nice, nice. Esa es una diferencia genial. Yep. ¿Qué más? What else? Tampoco se le agrega ver to be. Is our... ¿A cuál, Miss? ¿A cuál? A simple present. Ok, al simple present no se le agrega al verb to be, right? Aquí está la fórmula, right? Subject, verb, complement, ok? Versus present continuous, we start always with the subject, ok? The verb to be, which, what is the verb to be? Class, what is the verb to be? What is the verb to be? ENG. I. Class, <laughs> what is the verb to be? Save us, save us. Oh, okay, okay. Veamos, aquí dice Miss. Who says this? Mónica. El presente continuo es para actividades que se están haciendo con el verbo en gerundio. Excelente, ok. Que es como parafraseando también, ok. Excelente, Miss. Thank you. Good job. Um, a ver. Guys, one more time. I'll give you one more opportunity. What is the verb to be? What is the verb to be? Is and are in the verb. Se le agrega ing. Okay. Um, is, are. Um, is. Are. Ah, créanme lo que estaba así como que algo me iba a pasar ahorita. <risa> Just kidding. <risa> Entonces sí, verdad. Todos estamos ahí que el verbo to be es am, um, is, are. Entonces en el present continuous siempre vamos a necesitar el uh, verb to be. Ok, obviamente eh, the verb to be depends on the subject, right? Because if I use she is if I use we, are. If I use I, am. Okay. Anyways. So besides that, um, here we use the verb, right? With ing. Okay. Yes. And okay. then you can use a complement like right now if now right if it's present continuous for for the moment or uh, tomorrow next week next month these days right if it's for future or temporary actions do you understand so i need your participation remember 
Otra diferencia que es, es que el simple present es para rutinas, guys. Esa es la gran diferencia. The simple present is for talking about routine activities. Activities that you do every day, every week, every month. It's a routine. Uh, versus the differences that we already discussed for present continuous. Let's make some examples. Affirmative, negative, and question. Okay? Let's start with affirmative. Um, let's start with um, Alex. Can you help us with one example for simple present? Or choose a subject. I am tension the class. Vaya, vamos a tomar. Ok, vamos a tomar your subject. I. Ok, thank you, Alex. So, we're going to use I. Let me see. Maria, can you continue, please? Okay. Thank you. Okay, let me see. Laura, can you continue, please? Um, acabo de entrar, no sé qué están haciendo. Oh, I'm sorry, miss. I'm sorry, miss. No son fórmulas de, de otra cosa, okay? No se preocupen, miss. Ahorita va, va a entender ahorita con lo que digan sus compañeros. No worries. Y al final le pregunto a usted, ¿ok? Ok. Gracias. Very good, very good. Una pregunta ahí me dice cualquier cosa. Entonces, vámonos con... Let me see. Karen? Are you there, Karen? Ramos? Okay. Are you there, Ramon? Can you help us? Let me see. Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank you. I, I sing it. Uh, I take a uh, food. I'm sorry. I take food. Food. Can you uh, spell the complement? The complement food. I take food. Mm hmm. I take food. Uh, where do you take that food? We need to give a little more information there. Uh, because the berries uh, take is the, when you take something. Uh huh. Uh, I take the. Uh, let me remember see. that. Remember that ver take has different has different usages. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I take um, a book. I take a book. Yeah. Edwin. Okay, go ahead, Edwin. I take a shower. Sounds. Okay. I take a shower. And if 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 good guys, um, it's good to use a time marker. ¿Cuál sería un cuál sería un time marker? Every Voy a ponerlo day. aquí abajo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Every day. Correct. Do you understand? I take a shower every day. I take a shower every day. Can you repeat, guys? I take a shower every day. I take a shower every day. I take a shower every day. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're gonna um, do one more example, okay? We're gonna change the subject, different subject than I, okay? Can you give us a subject, Patricia? You are very participative on the chat. Give us one subject. I am. Oh, I I is already is already used. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry, Patricia. Uh, I meant to say, um, Monica. Monica, can you choose one subject? Chat it. We're gonna do, we're gonna have another example with a different subject. Do you understand? Or, Patricia, do you have a different subject? He. Excellent, excellent. That's exactly what I needed, he. Okay, let me see. Hmm. Julio? Or Marielena, one of you? Work. It's correct? No, no, it's works. Works. Excellent. Compliment. Compliment. On Saturday? Correct. He works on Saturdays. Repeat. He works on Saturdays. He works on Saturday. Fantastic. Class, vámonos juntos ahora. Vamos a acelerarlo un poquito, ok, guys? Todos van a participar, lo que lo tengan, los que tengan una aportación, me la dicen. Y vamos a tomar ahí lo mejor para crear los mejores examples, ok? So... I need, I need to make a plural example. Can you give me one subject class? They. Thank you. They rarely. Um, is to the, <laughs> they rarely is to the. Study. Um, uh, study on weekend. Wow, nos lo diste ahí completo, ok. Weekends, ok, excellent. They rarely study on weekends. Wow, nice job, nice job. Good job, guys, good job. All right. All right, let's go with negative examples, ok. Let's go with the negative example. What is the subject class? Let's just start with I. Let's just start with I. Uh huh. It's a negative example. She she don't no. play soccer never. Don't. Aha, bingo. I don't. <laughs> Aha. Puede ser don't en este caso o puede ser not. Doesn't. Correct. Correct. You're very intelligent. Okay. Um Okay, so you will say I, uh -huh, I, I don't. Continue, I don't, class, continue class, I don't. I speak I don't. English. What you mean I don't speak? Who is speaking in English, bro? <laughs> we are speaking in English. <laughs> A different, different example. I don't, I don't speak French. I don't speak French. Repeat, guys. I don't speak French. Or do you speak French? Or do you? Do you speak French, guys? No, I don't know speak French. No. I don't, I don't speak French. I, I don't speak French. Solo, solo lo masticamos, ¿verdad? ¿Ah? 
<laughs> French, francés. I don't speak French. No, I don't speak French. Maybe, you know, maybe in my future, I would like to take some classes, maybe basic classes for French. Yeah, some people say it's difficult. I don't know, I don't know. Anyways, let's choose a third person. Let's make a third person negative. Let's make a third person negative. Give me a subject class. She. Thank you, Maria. Okay, what is the correct auxiliary? Does. Doesn't. Because it's negative, uh-huh. She doesn't, uh -huh. class, continue class. She doesn't a student in the morning. Student? Is in that what you morning. said? In the morning. Student. A student. Is that a verb? Verb, student. Is that a verb, Esmeralda? Oh. No. Studying? Okay, student, uh, student, it's a person, okay? This is a noun, okay? Now, the verb, the action is study. Study. Continue? Yes, study. She doesn't study? She doesn't study in the morning. Correct. Wonderful, wonderful. She doesn't study in the morning. Repeat, guys. She doesn't, doesn't study in the morning. Study in the morning. She doesn't study in the morning. No. Repeat. She doesn't study in the morning. She doesn't study in the morning. Podemos también personalizarla, como decir en, en vez de decir she, podemos decir um um. Julia doesn't study in the morning. Do you understand? Yes. <laughs> All right, good, 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 good. Excellent. Let's make a plural example in negative. Subject. They. We already used they. Give me a different subject for plural, please. We. Thank you. What is the correct auxiliary? Do. Are. Don't. We are. Are is not an option, sir. We don't. What are the options? Don't. What are the options? Don't. Don't or doesn't. Those are doesn't. the negative auxiliaries doesn't. for the simple present. Teacher, pero doesn't solo se pronuncia en she, in he, it. Excelente. Gracias por su aporte, Esmeralda. Es correcto. Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿cuál sería? El don't. Correcto. Uh -huh. We don't. Continue. Play. We don't. We don't play. Oops. Play soccer. <laughs> My computer is acting out. Okay. Okay. We don't play soccer. It's soccer. true. We need to play soccer. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies versus gentlemen. Ah, huh, Ramon. We go to the cafetalon soccer fields. Huh? We don't play soccer every day. <laughs> That's true. That's true. We don't play soccer every day. I would like to play soccer every day. Only Saturday. Only Saturday. Oh, nice. We don't play soccer every day. We don't. We, we don't play soccer every day. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. 
So now what we're going to do is that we're going to make a question, okay? Now for the question, um, what is the formula? The formula will start with do or does as an auxiliary, okay? For the question. And then you're gonna have a subject. Subject. And then complement. We're gonna have what? Oops. We're gonna have a verb. And then possibly a complement, possibly. Not necessarily, but possibly. In um, at the end, you're going to have a question mark. Okay. Let's make a question for the first person. No, I'm sorry, make a question for you, with, for the subject you. How do you start a question for the subject you? Do you? Do or does? Do you? Okay. The do you speak is... Spanish? Hmm. Do you speak Spanish? Do you dancing every day? A ver, repita, miss. Do you? Dancing every day? Dance. 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 ¿Cómo iría el verbo acá? Dancing dance. Or, or dance? Dance. 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 Ajá. Uh -huh. Do you dance what? A rock and roll. <laughs> Rock and roll music? Do you dance rock and roll music? Huh? Do you dance rock and roll music? Uh, let me see. Maria, do you dance rock and roll music? <laughs> Julio, do you dance rock and roll music, sir? Only with cup inside. <laughs> How about you, Ramon? Do you dance rock and roll music? Yes, only in the party. Only in the parties, right? Exactly, in Christmas. Well, in Christmas, you dance all kind of music, but dancing rock and roll music is really fun. It's like a good exercise. All right, all right. Thank you for your participation. Let's go ahead and make a question for the subject. He. What could you say for the subject he? Starting with the auxiliary. Does. Correct. Uh-huh. Uh Does he? Aha, uh -huh, class. Continue class. Continue class. Like. Does, does like. he he like? Did you say like? Like. Like. At the end, S. Yes. Are you sure? Huh? Does he like? No, no, no. It's correct. <laughs> it's correct, right? Because we have the auxiliary. Yeah. Right here, does. Does he like, what? Does he like what? Does he like? Chinese food. Okay. Chinese. <clears throat> does he like Chinese food? Remember like the intonation? <coughs> does he like Chinese food? Aha, uh -huh, class. Does he like Chinese food? What could you answer? No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Okay. Or maybe, yes, he does. Yes, he does. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Um, let's see. 
What about now a uh, plural question? Or, no, no, with the subject, oh, ya, usimos, ya usamos you, ¿verdad? Okay, usemos un plural, plural. How about they? What would you ask? Do. do. Correct. Do they. Do they, what? Do they? Do they cook the dinner? Do they cook dinner? Okay. <laughs> bueno, acuérdense que podemos estar hablando de una rutina, ¿verdad? So, do they cook dinner on Sundays, for example? Como usualmente, Sundays <laughs> is pupusas day. So, that maybe could be a good question, huh? Do they, do they cook dinner on Sundays? Can you answer, guys? Do they... It's a group apart and you're not included. Usted no está incluido en ese grupo. Es un grupo aparte de ellos o ellas. Do they cook dinner on Sundays? What could be the answer? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. They, they grill uh, meat or they fry chicken. They make uh, chicken soup or hen soup. Right, etc. All right, good job, good job, people. Thank you for your participation. Let's move on, and we're gonna go with present continuous. Okay, I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna take this out so we can practice present continuous now. All right, so this is present continuous. Let's go with um, affirmative statements. I want you to tell me affirmative statements. I want you to use the formula, yes? I want you to use the formula and I want you to chat or tell me what are you doing? Or what are you doing right now? Or what are you doing tomorrow? Or what are you doing after the class? Or, or what are you doing this weekend? Or what are you doing this next vacation? Say the example or chat the example. We're doing an affirmative example, guys. I need an affirmative example. Prepare it and send it to me. Let me open the chat. Okay, aquí yo tengo ya los primeros. Let me see, this is Monica. Okay, Monica says, el presente continuo es para actividades que se están haciendo. Aha, uh -huh. okay. For example, I watch TV in simple present. Okay, and I am watching TV in person continuous. Okay, thank you so much. Vaya tienen su ejemplo. You have your example. Affirmative. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm eating my dinner. Thank you. Go ahead, Patricia. I am studying the English class. Perfect. Uh huh. Somebody else. What are you doing? We are learning English right now. We are learning. Repeat, learn. Learning. Learn. Learning. Learning. Right learn. Now. Learning. Preparen su ejemplo, por favor. Prepare your example, please.
Okay, I have one example here from Raymond. It says, I am playing soccer on Saturday. Excellent. Okay. And Edwin says, Okay, Edwin, siempre recuerda que es capital letter. Capital letter it means mayúscula, okay? Sí, se me fue, se me fue. No problem, no problem, my friend. Entonces, I am going to the supermarket on Sunday. También los days of the week. They I drink coffee? I'm sorry? They are drink Coffee? Ahí sería con ING, mis. ¿Eh? Sería they are. No es que me guste mucho el café, ¿verdad? Pero me encanta. <laughs> they are. They are. Drinking. Drink. Coffee. Por eso lo pusimos acá, mis. Es correcto. Y acuérdense que acá también pueden usar contraction. They are. Drinking. They are drink coffee. They are, they are drinking coffee. Okay. Okay. Teacher. Yes. Y para decir café con leche. Coffee, coffee, and coffee with. Coffee and milk. Yeah. Coffee and milk. Mm -hmm. Gracias. My pleasure, sir. All right. Who else? Who else? What are you doing? What are you doing? ¿Quién me debe? Hmm? Uzue says, I am drinking a coffee cup. Ok, como estamos en present continuous, tomaré el primer ejemplo. I am drinking a cup of coffee. Yes. Me too. Me too, my friend. I am drinking. ¿Cuál sería la contracción ahí? Contraction? I am. I am. I'm drinking a cup, a cup, a coffee cup. Okay, that's very good. ¿Quién más? Who else? Just uh, Josué. Edwin, Ramon, Patricia, Monica, Marilena, uh huh. Who else? No more. I have a question for you. What is your classmate doing right now? You don't know what your classmate is doing in the morning or in the afternoon, but what is your classmate doing right now? Or what is your classmate doing? Hey guys, what is your classmate doing? We are studying English. Okay, uh, they are studying English. We are studying English because you are included. All right, that's correct. Um, another example could have been, for example, let me see. Josué is drinking a cup of coffee. Yes? Or another example could have been uh, Edwin is going to the supermarket on Sunday. Mm -hmm. And 
Ramon is playing soccer on Saturday as well. Right? Let's go with negatives. Negative example. What is the formula for the negative example? It's almost the same, right? But you're going to use the negation word. Call it a negation word. Not. Not. That's correct. ¿A dónde lo vamos a ubicar? Bird to be. Okay. It's correct. Now is the opposite. When I ask you, what are you doing? You told me, ah, I am drinking a cup of coffee. I am having my English class. We are having, we are studying English. Yes, we are studying English right now. I am going to the supermarket on Saturday. I am playing soccer on Saturday. Okay, those are affirmative examples, but right now we're gonna talk about something that you are not doing using the present continuous. Try to use this formula. Give me your examples, please. Chat or say your example. Say. <clears throat> Teacher, I give you one example. Go ahead, go ahead. The microphone is yours. Okay. They are not, or they aren't uh, running on Monday. Very good. I podría usar la palabra anymore. Anymore. Mm -hmm. Oops, me fui acá. <laughs> Here. Okay, I like that example. They aren't. We're going to use the contraction this time. Thank you. Aquí ya está el verbo to be. Y ya mm. está hasta está acá, ¿verdad? Esta parte de la fórmula. Ya está todo acá en el aren't. Okay. So now, running, running, uh-huh, anymore, perfect, they aren't running anymore, okay, so give your example in negative, what are you doing but in negative, aha, uh -huh. Edwin, go ahead, <clears throat> he isn't sleeping right now, very well. He isn't sleeping right now. Wonderful. Sleeping. Okay. That's negative. Yeah, yeah. not. Yeah, not. I did party. I am not. Solo que ahí, más que todo hablando de position at the party. Pero podríamos hacerlo presente continuo usando el verb to be. Very good. El in. La fórmula ahorita en hasta acá está el not, right? Not. Mm -hmm. Luego necesito the v verb with the ing. For example, I am not Go. drinking beer. <laughs> okay, beers. <laughs> Oops, I'm not. I am not drinking beers at the party. I am no, not drinking no beers. Cerveza en la fiesta. <laughs> Pero, pero es como que es como que usted está 
una de dos, recuerden, como tiene dos contextos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. O puede que usted está, eh, usted, usted está, ya está en la fiesta, right? Puts, 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 y usted está diciendo, I am not drinking beers at the party, right? I am drinking lemonade, I am drinking soda, whatever. Porque está pasando en el momento. O puede ser que usted esté hablando en futuro, right? Que la fiesta sea, por ejemplo, este próximo sábado, este próximo domingo, y usted diga, hmm, I am not drinking beers at the party, mm -mm. right? Esto es hablando en futuro, right? So, that's the, that's the goal. Understand? Yes. Wonderful, wonderful. Give me another negative. Come on, another negative. Come on. No I more? am not I am not cooking right now. All right, you're not cooking right now. Maybe maybe you are cooking after the class. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, maybe. Maybe. <laughs> See, you dominated. Very nice. Give me a negative, please. Give me a negative, guys. Go. Participate. Who else? I am not eating, no. I am not eating. I not I am not eating, no. Give me not. I am not. Not. I am not eating right now. Earring right now. Or now. No. Lara, do you have any example? Negative. Something you are not doing right now. Because right now you are having an English class. So what can be a negative example? I am not watching movie right now. <clears throat> Not. I am not. Everybody, I am not watching a movie. Watching. Ojo con esa pronunciación with the negation word N O T. Everybody, not. Not. I am not. I am not. You are not. Come on. He is not. He is not. She is not. Come on. She is not. 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 Hmm. Lo demás. It is not. It is not. We are not. We are mm. not. They are not. They are not. They are not. Contractions in negative. Contractions. I'm not. I'm not. I am is not a contraction. I'm. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. You're not. You're not. Or you aren't. Aren't. You aren't. aren't. We are not. We are not. Or we aren't. We aren't. We aren't. They are not. They are not. They are not. Or they aren't. They aren't. He is not. He is not. He is not. Or he, he isn't. He isn't. Not. He isn't. She is not. He is not. He is not. Or she isn't. She isn't. She isn't. isn't. It is not. It is not. It is not. It is not. Or it isn't. It isn't. It isn't. Okay. 
So can you give um can you give a third person example? Can you give a third person example, please? Negative. Do we have noise? Prepare your negative example in third person. He, she, or it. For the example in a third person and it. You can pay in the bank. Fíjate que escucho bastante interferencia. Let me see. Ok, yo creo que sí. Oh, ok, aquí está. Ok, uh, estimadísima Patricia, vamos a pedirte que tengas tu micrófono desactivado porque tienes un poquito de sonido ahí atrás, ok? No problem. Ok, yo creo que ahora sí, Mr. Can you repeat, please? Interperson. It. 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 Isn't. Ok. Paying. Paying, like, pay, like paying. Paying in the bank. It isn't paying in the bank. Hmm. What do you mean it isn't paying in the bank? Eh, que no están pagando en el banco al complemento. No sé, ahí le podemos agregar. Uh, uh, it isn't paying in the okay. bank. Okay. It isn't paying in the bank. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Okay, sounds good. What else? What else? Tell me about it. Negative example. Hello? Prepare your negative example. Julio, Tati. You are in dishes. No, you are in um, Germany. We are in teaching German. German. Yes. We are in teaching German. No estamos enseñando alemán, ¿es correcto? ¿Es correct? I think we have a lot of um, background noise. Ok, guys, eh, bueno, vamos a irnos a lo último que sería questions. Questions, questions, questions. For the questions, what do you need? You're going to need the verb to be. Yes. Plus what? Subject. Plus verb with ing. Plus complement. Yeah. Oops, compliment, okay, good. So right here, uh, you can um, ask questions. For example, for the subject, for the subject, Maria Elena. Uh-huh, class, can you help me making a question, please? Maria Elena are walking now. Thus. Oh, is is Maria Elena. 
Ah, check it out. Check the formula. Uh huh. Bird to be? Is. Correct. Is. Maria Elena. Continue. Class, continue. Playing. Playing with her daughter, porque escuché que tiene una, una niña, a baby oh. daughter. Is correct, Maria Elena? <laughs> yes, teacher, but he, but she's sleeping right now. <laughs> oh, she's sleeping right now. It's late for her. Yeah, it's her bedtime. It's so, so is guys, is Maria playing with her daughter right now? No. She is. No, she are in class. Repeat, no, she isn't. No, she isn't. Repeat class, no, she isn't. No, she no, isn't. isn't. She's in class. She's having an English class right now. Yes. Perfect. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome to the class, sir. Excuse me for time. No problem, sir. I understand. Let me change okay. the subject. The subject is going to be the children. Are. Very good. We're going to use are. The children continue. Class continue. No more play. No Thank more study. You. All Thank the verbs. No more play. No more play. No more study. Going, going to the school. Correct. School. Incluso podríamos hacerla para futuro, ¿verdad? Are the children going to school tomorrow? Guys, are the children going to school tomorrow? Yes, yes. they are. Yes, they are. Repeat. Yes, yes, they oh, are. Yeah. Excellent, 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 excellent. <laughs> Wonderful job. All right. Let me change the subject. Uh-huh. Make it. Make it happen. The subject is you. Are you? Are you? Uh huh. Coming. Coming. Okay. Are you? Coming, coming where? Coming where? Coming to work? Coming to the party? Coming to the office? To the office. To the office. Wonderful, wonderful. Are you coming to the office? Um, this week? Or right now etc okay guys thank you for the practice thank you so much for the practice yo creo que ni lista les he pasado chicos i'm sorry me emociono mucho con ustedes i don't know let me check 
Attendance, attendance. Today is Tuesday, the 23rd. Do we have in the house Alex Enoch Ramirez Salazar? Present teacher. Douglas Humberto Sanchez Humberto Diaz. Sanchez -Diaz. Edith Adilia Hernandez Chacón. Edwin Alexis Rodriguez Cortez. Present. Esmeralda Abigail Santos Samaya. Present teacher. Okay. Irving Joel Moran Gonzalez. Present teacher. Thank you. Josué Eduardo Gutierrez Alguero. Julio Cesar Caridad Valiente. Present. Wonderful. Um, Karen Elizabeth Ramos Aguilar. Laura Guadalupe Fuentes de Meléndez. Present. Got it. Marilena Linares Díaz. Present. Mario Alberto Hernández Vázquez. Mónica Marisela Martínez Pineda. Patricia Beatriz Bonilla López. Present teacher. Ramón Antonio Escoto Abarca. Present. Roberto Antonio Ramírez González. Y Tatiana Vanessa Escoba Ortiz. Present teacher. Wonderful, very well, very well. All right. Bueno, vamos a ver un poquito más acá de nuestra plataforma additional platform that we have for you. Do we have a chat here? Oh, yeah, yeah, I know, Monica. Sí, 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 yo sé. Este, ahora les voy a dar un tiempito para que se reúnan, guys, ¿ok? Para que se organicen un poquito más. Tengan un poquito de tiempo, ¿ok? To prepare your presentation for the last class. Okay. Let's check this video out, ¿ok? Let's check this video out. I'm going to... I'm going to share my screen right now. Here we go. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn to sound natural when using can and can't. Let's start by listening to the pronunciation of can and can't. Can and can't. Notice the pronunciation of can and can't. I can act, but I can't sing very well. This is a very simple pronunciation. If you notice the positive statement, I can act. Above the word, you can see how that is pronounced. Can as the pronunciation symbol. On the other hand, the negative statement is pronounced differently. We will pronounce it as can. Another tip that I would like to mention here is when it comes to negative statements which are contracted, we can also follow the simple rule. If there's a contraction which ends in NT, you can think of extending that N. Let me illustrate that. I can't sing very well. This trick can also help with pronunciation. English pronunciation is not an easy topic and it requires a lot of listening and practicing. I would like to encourage you to practice these two simple phrases. Practice by listening and repeating. Do this several times until you feel like it's not difficult for you. Okay, do you have do you have any question about the video? Yes or no? How to say uh, affirmative? Can, remember can is for abilities. It's for talents that you have. Yes? Abilities 
and talents. For example, I can drive a car. Yes? I can run. Very well. Um, affirmative. Okay. And um, you will learn to introduce the negative with the conjunction but. ¿Se entendió ahí la, la diferencia en la pronunciación de el can positivo con can't negativo? Uh, no. 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 A ver, aquí nos dan un trick. Yo noté la diferencia en el negativo que como que, lo, como que al alargarlo es como que se hace más notable. Can't. Correcto. Si no puedes ponerle, porque a veces nos cuesta como que ubicarle el, el T sound at the end, el sonido de la T al final. Entonces es correcto. Se alarga, ¿verdad? El sonido de la N para que ahí um, se note que es a negative. Por ejemplo, ¿cómo sería este en positivo? I can sing. I can sing very well. I can't sing very well. Do you understand the difference? It's different. Edwin? Um, so, so. So, so. Okay, escuchemos entonces a los classmates. Um, abilities, guys. Abilities. Let's talk about affirmative ability and negative ability. Check in the example. The example says, I can act. Repeat, I can act. I can act. I cannot. But I can't <laughs> sing very well. Very well. No. I can act, but I can't sing very well. I can act, but I can't sing very well. I can act, but I can't sing very well. For example, I can I can play the guitar a little, okay, a little. Esa es otra cosa que para especificar al final, guys, porque a veces podemos tener habilidades que no las manejamos eh, al 100%. Entonces podemos agregar al final a little. A little, que es un poquito, ok. O podemos decir very well si lo hacemos muy bien. Ok. Si es negativo, no podemos hacerlo para nada, para nada. Vamos a usar at all. At all. Um, for example, I can play, yes, play the guitar a little. But... Um, I can't make proposals. Do you understand? Do you understand? Or no? Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, can you share? Um, yes. Repeat, please, eh, la negativo. Okay, I can't. O oh, mi ejemplo o oh, la explicación. Eh, su ejemplo. Okay, I can't okay. make pupusas. Oh. I, I can play the guitar. Yes, a little. I can play the guitar a little. But a little. I can't. I can't make pupusas. I can't. <laughs> Can you give me an affirmative and a negative example? Do we have a volunteer for that? What, what is your ability? What are your skills? Can is to talk about your skills. A ver, digan skills. 
Damn, skills. You to talk about your skills. skills. Sus skills. abilities. Your abilities. For example, I can use a computer, but I can't play the piano. Do you understand? Yes. I can speak English, Edwin, very well, but I can't cook. I wish I could. Do you understand, Edwin? Class? Yes. Yes. I can sing. I can sing a little, <laughs> but I can't dance. I can't. <laughs> what about you? What about you? Tell me. Tell me about you. Huh? I can chat on Facebook, huh? I can I can dance, bachata. Uh -huh. I can dance, bachata a little better. Okay, you can dance bachata music a little. Okay, nice. Okay, okay. Okay, uh, it's correct. Okay. Se me cortó, teacher. Okay, okay, okay. So I heard you said you can dance bachata music. What is a negative yes, ability? What is a negative ability for you? I can La drive a car. I'm sorry, can you repeat? I can drive a car. Oh, that's affirmative. You can drive a car? Uh, no, I can't. Oh, I can't. Yes, I can't. you see, I can't. I can't. I, I, I can't, I can't drive a car. Drive a car. It's a, mm, la va a extender un poquito. I can't okay. drive I a car. I can't drive Ajá, a car. Ah, porque físicamente entendí que sí podía. Okay. Oh, no. Entonces, vaya. I can't drive a car. I can't, I can't. dance uh, electronic music. Yeah. Uh -huh. What is your ability, guys? Tell me, Patricia. Tell me, Laura, Edwin, Maria, Karen, Julio, Tati, Alex, Mario, Edith, Ronaldo. Tell me, what is what is some of your abilities using I can? I can uh, motorcycle. I can? A motorcycle. I can? I can drive a motorcycle. Wait, wait, wait. Drive? Or ride? Ride a motorcycle. I can ride a motorcycle. You can ride a motorcycle? Yes, I can. Nice. Okay. What is a negative ability? Una negativa. Ah, okay. And. For example, I can't. I can. Sing very well. I can. I can dance. <laughs> you can't dance? You can't dance? I can't. Times two. No, I can't. Times two, Edwin. Por dos, Edwin, okay? No, no worries, no worries. <laughs> okay, negative, negatives and affirmatives, abilities. Tell me about your ability, uh-huh. No more abilities. Come on, don't be stingy. Don't be stingy. I want to know more about your abilities. For example, I can ride a bicycle. Yes. I, I can, can cook. You can I cook. Can cook. Cook. Yes, cook. All right, you can cook. Okay, can you cook dinner? I can cook dinner, breakfast, food, nothing. 
That's good. Can you make can you make soups? More or less. Okay, okay, okay. That's that's my only, challenge. Only of chicken. Only of chicken. <laughs> only matter of chance soup, huh? No, caliente. <laughs> like teacher Caleb. <laughs> okay, nice, nice. Uh -huh. Esmeralda, what are some of your skills? I can, what are your skills? I can drive a car. I can drive a car. Repeat. I can drive a car. You can drive a car. Nice. So do you have a driver license? Mm. Repeat, please. Do you have a driver's license? Oh, Aquila. Que si, que es driver's license? ¿Quién entiende esa parte? Driver's license. Drive, es drive, es manejar. Bueno, ahí le he estado consultando de su licencia de conducir. Si usted tenía driver's es, license. Yes. Liviana. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Vamos a llegar al nivel, guys, donde les haga preguntas así como, como con, el, con el do o con el das. Eh, puede que les haga preguntas con el verbo to be, right? Y entonces puede que les haga preguntas con el can. Ojo ahí. Ok. Right? For, ex for example, eh, guys, can you, can you speak another language? Can you speak another language? Not. I am not. I am not. Languages. Vaya, ahí no vamos a usar el verbo to be. Vamos a usar el can o el can't. Ok. La, okay. la clave está en la pregunta. Ok. Listen to the question. Can you. Can you speak? Ah, can está en la pregunta. Entonces, ese can necesita una respuesta. For example, eh, can you drive a car? Guys, can you drive a car? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Okay, can you, what? Can you use an instrument? Can you play an instrument? No, I can't. No, no I can't. can't. No, I can't. Uh -huh. I can play drum and guitar little. Me too. I want to, I want to learn. I want to get better. My guitar skills. I want to get better, Julio. Okay. Yeah, I need to. I need to learn more. You know? I can. I can. I can play drums. Um, more. <clears throat> more than guitar. More than more than a guitar. Oh, nice. That's interesting. How how are you learning? Are, are you going to uh, an academy or something? No. Um, are you watching videos like like tutorials on YouTube or yeah, something? No. Like that? Uh, uh, my family learned me and um, it's empiric method. Oh, got it, got it, got it. So your family members taught you. It's a family, uh, like a family tradition that you have, right? Yes. Where, where parents know how to play an instrument, so they transmit that to their children and their children to their grandchildren and so on and so forth. Yes. Um, my parents don't. My uncle. Oh, your uncle. Okay, okay. And what, what are you from, Julio? What are you from? What are you? Sonsonate. Oh, Sonso Bronx, huh? That's nice. Sonate City. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Sing very well. This trick can also help with pronunciation. 
we're gonna go to the next topic. We're gonna go here with a, a little practice. Here we go. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary for discussing different abilities and talents. Let's get started by listening to some common abilities and talents. Word power. Musical or artistic. Paint pictures. Play the violin. Sing English songs. Technical or mechanical. Design a web page. Fix a car. Fix a motorcycle. Athletic. Do gymnastics. Ride a horse. Surf. Other. Bake a cake. Play chess. Tell good jokes. Now I would like for you to do a couple of things. First, categorize these activities using the categories musical or artistic, athletic, other, technical or mechanical. Uh, just like you see on the example, other, bake a cake. Then I would like for you to use the vocabulary and relate it to yourself, a family member, or a friend. For example, I can fix a car, but I can't fix a motorcycle. After you finish this act. Okay, so right there, I just sent you two pictures to the WhatsApp chat. The first picture has the vocabulary, okay? Please listen to me and repeat after me. Bake a cake. Bake, Bake a, cake. a cake. Bake a cake. Bake a cake. Design. Design. A web page. Design a web page. 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 Okay. Do gymnastics. Do gymnastics. Do gymnastics. Gymnastics. What is the verb with gymnastics? Do. Do gymnastics. Do gymnastics. Fix a car. Fix a car. Fix. Fix. Fix es el sinónimo de repair, que es reparar, ¿verdad? Arreglar algo. Fix. Fix, fix, fix a, a car. car. Fix a car. Repeat. Fix, car. fix a motorcycle. Fix a motorcycle. Excellent. Fix a motorcycle. Fix, fix a motorcycle. Paint pictures. Paint, Paint pictures. pictures. Paint pictures. Paint pictures. Play chess. Play, Play chess. Do you know what is chess? Chess. Do you know chess. what is chess? C H E S S. Play chess. Do you know what that is? No, nobody? No. It's ajedrez. Mm -hmm. Play chess. Can you play chess, guys? Can you play chess? No. No, I can't. 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 Okay. Repeat. Play the violin. Play, play the violin. Play the violin. Okay. Play the Ride a horse. Ride a horse. Ride. Ride a horse. The horse. Ride a horse. Sing English songs. Sing English songs. Sing 
English songs. Yes. The English. English song. Surf. 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 Or tell good jokes. Tell, tell good, good jokes. jokes. Do you have any question about this new vocabulary? Um, about surf. Is surf? surf or surf? Surf. Surf. Correct. Okay. Thank you. Any other question? No more questions. Okay. In that case, let's go to the next image. The next image shows the categories. For example, musical or artistic, technical or mechanical, athletic or other, okay? Let's go and categorize these activities. Repeat after me, musical? Musical or artistic or artistic artistic technical or mechanical technical mechanical or mechanical athletic athletic or other okay these are abilities and talents for example what is the first activity class what is the first activity Hello, what is the first activity? Musical or artistic. Bake a cake. Repeat, bake a cake. Bake a cake. Bake a cake. Uh -huh. What is the category for bake a cake? Others. Other, correct. Hello. Next activity, what is the next activity? Hello, what is the next activity? Design a workplace. Design. Repeat. Design, Design. a web page. Design a web page. Uh -huh. What is the category for designing a web page? Technical. Technical or mechanical. Good job, Raymond. What is the next activity? Do, 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 do gymnastics. gymnastics. That is correct. Do gymnastics. Repeat. Do gymnastics. Do, do gymnastics. gymnastics. What is the category for doing gymnastics? Athletic. 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 Nice. Nice. Good job. What is the next activity? Fix a car. Fix a car, excellent. Fix a, Fix a car. car. What is the category for it? Technical or mechanical. Technical or mechanical. Excellent. So far, so good. What is the next activity? Fix a motorcycle. Fix a motorcycle. That's my dream. <laughs> Fix a motorcycle. What is the category? Technical or mechanical. Technical or mechanical because you are fixing something mechanical. What is the next activity? Paint pictures. Paint pictures. Good pronunciation, Maria. What is the category for painting pictures? Musical or artistic. Musical or artistic. Great job. Okay, what is the next activity? Play. Play chess. Play chess. What is the category for that? Uh, others. Other, in this case it's other, playing chess, yes. What is next? Play the violin. Play the violin. What's that category? Musical or art bim 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 bingo miss marilena you rock and roll so uh is raymond doing great 
What is the next activity? Ride a horse. A horse. Ride a horse. Ride a horse. What is that category? Athletic. No, others. What do you think? Athletics or other? Ride a other. horse. Hello? Other. I think it's athletic because you have to have good conditions to ride a horse. <laughs> yeah. Not everyone can ride a horse. Can you ride a horse? Can you ride a horse? Yes, I can't. Nice. Oh, I can't. Yes, I can. Wow. Okay. Okay, interesting. <laughs> okay, next. What is the next activity? Sing, sing English, English songs. songs. Uh -huh. What is the category for sing English songs? Musical. Musical or acoustic. Guys, <clears throat> can you sing English songs? Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. Yes. Like like romantic English songs like uh, Brian Adams, uh, Bon Jovi. Mm, huh? No, Adele. Um, Adele. Uh -huh. Yes, but in musica, musica de antaño, no sé cómo decir. Classic, classic, classic music. music. Yes, really. Okay, okay. It's important for you to practice singing. Singing songs is very helpful. Mm -hmm. Can you sing English songs? Laura, Patricia, Karen, can you sing English songs? Monica? I can't. <laughs> you can't. Not in the shower. Oh, sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> That's a cool one. All right, all right. Bueno, chicos, um, ya no les voy a dejar quizás tiempo. Sí, les voy a dar entonces este tiempo para que se reúnan con su equipo. Right? Y regresamos para despedirnos, ¿ok? Um, cinco a las diez, ¿ok? Use this time to organize. ¿Preguntas? Teacher. Yes, Raymond. We are talking with uh, Patricia. Mm -hmm. And we, uh, we have uh, the topic. Great. ¿Y cuál va a ser? Pat Patricia, can you tell him? What is the topic of your presentation? Yes, um, I need to, I have to. Oh, yeah. Que no me lo pusieron ahí en el chat, pues. Creo que uh, sí. No. I don't remember. I think so. Let's see, you know. Mm, gracias, chicos, ahí por estar reportándose y cualquier consulta siempre ahí en el chat. Pati, 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 no, Pati no lo teníamos. ¿Alguien había escogido ese? Bueno, en realidad tengo que hacer una lista con estos topics. El de, es que me suena que alguien lo había escogido. Let me see. Irving y Mario llevan how many and how much. Let me see. That's it. Karen? Laura and you, and I, I have and I need. Ustedes lo tienen. Ah, ok. Esmeralda dice aquí, ah, pues, need to and, and have to, dice Esmeralda. Yes. ¿Con quién va usted, Esmeralda? Laura. Con Laura. Mm, bueno, ¿tenían un plan B a Imis o, o definitivamente quieren ese topic? 
con, con, Re, con Raymond tenían solamente ese topic, porque si no se los puedo dejar, ¿verdad? Para como un, como un double check ahí, no habría problema, mis. No hay problema, ¿se lo quieren quedar? Need to and have to. Podríamos Vamos buscar a otro, sí. Va, Vamos perfecto. A Se los dejo entonces a su opción. Tómense ese tiempo. Ahorita pues, tómense estos. Ay, muy poco tiempo les dejé, guys. Regresemos quizás un, un ratito antes de las, de las 10 para que les queden por lo menos unos 14 minutos. Let's go. Organize, organize your presentation, please. Teacher. Yes. Puede hacer grupos pequeños. ¿Cómo así? Grupos pequeños. No, no puedo. Pueden organizarse en el chat, en el, por medio de WhatsApp. Okay. Yo creo que sí, ¿verdad? Como estamos en grupos pequeños, ajá. Mario, are you ready? Mario, Mario, Mario. Are you around, Mario? No, I think Mario is driving. Maybe he's driving a car. Okay. Oh, okay, teacher. Maybe. I'm sorry. No problem, teacher. Okay. Cualquier cosa siempre me dicen, guys. Recuerden que a veces hay dificultades y es mejor que me lo digan para ver cómo solventamos, ¿verdad? En el caso que tengan problemas como de comunicación, que el compañero eh, fue difícil contactarlo. Acuérdense que pues eh, todos tenemos diferentes posiciones laborales y pues hay quienes pues tenemos o tienen cargas más pesadas que nosotros y cosas así, ¿verdad? Entonces hay que comprender ese lado y pues mejor me lo dicen cualquier cosa y vemos qué otra opción tomamos, ¿ok? Go ahead. Teacher. Yes. ¿Qué fecha fue la clase de I need y I have? Buena pregunta, mis. Ahorita le digo. Okay. Vaya, I have to. Fíjese que hubieron dos en realidad, ¿verdad? Quiero ver, creo que pudo haber sido. Como siempre repasamos un poquito, ¿verdad? De la clase anterior. Pueden verificar el 11, la clase del 11 y la clase del 12. Por cualquier cosa. Gracias. Ok.
Okie dokie, people. I promise you tomorrow I'll give you a little more time. Espero mañana darles quizás unos, unos, tal vez unos 20 minutos, ¿verdad? Para que se organicen más. Okay, we're gonna call attendance so we can go to bed. Mr. Alex Enoch Ramirez Salazar, are you there? Uy, se me movió aquí todo esto. Okay, thank you, sir. Let me see, Douglas Humberto Sanchez Diaz. Edith Adilia Hernandez Chacon. Present. Okay, so Douglas is missing in action, but Edith, Edith is in the house. Edwin Alexis Rodriguez Cortez. Present teacher. Con quien va usted, Edwin, en, en su trabajo? Con Karen. Con Karen. ¿Cómo yes. vamos ahí? Pues bien, quedamos que mañana vamos a seguir. Super cool, super cool. Mañana les daré 20 minutos, les prometo, ¿ok? Ok, ok, gracias. Ok, Esmeralda Abigail Santos Amaya. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Irving Joel Morán González. Present Josué. teacher, present. Oh. Thank you, Irving. Josué Eduardo Gutierrez Alguero. Present, teacher. Thank you, Julio Cesar Caridad Valiente. Present, teacher. Karen Elizabeth Ramos Aguilar. Present, teacher. Okay, Laura Guadalupe Fuentes de Meléndez. Present. All right, María Elena Linares Díaz. Present. Mario Alberto Hernández Vázquez. Oops, era absent. Okay. Eh, Monica Maricela Martinez Pineda. Present. Thank you. Patricia Beatriz Bonilla Lopez. Present, teacher. Raymond Antonio Escoto Abarca. Present. Roberto Antonio Ramirez González. And Tatiana Vanessa Escobar Ortiz. Tatiana, Tatiana me pareció haberla visto, Tati, ¿verdad, chicos? Bueno. Sí, okay. ahí estuvo. Sí, 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 le voy a poner que sí acá. Ok, guys, we'll continue tomorrow. Great job, great practice. Good night, people. I'll see you tomorrow at 8 p.m. I'll see you okay. tomorrow, teacher. Good night, teacher. Good night. Bye now. Enjoy the rain. Good night, teacher. Good night, brother. Good night. See you tomorrow, man. Study. Practice your English. Be safe. Okay, teacher. Bye-bye now.